that came to me through a uh, Science of Mind minister years and years ago, and I morphed it just a little bit to make it more in the now, because a lot of some of the words were in the past or future, I don't remember, but it just feels really good to honor all of the directions. And so what we're going to do now, I'm going to invite you to start relaxing. Um, just take a few deep breaths. Let's do this together. Breathe in. If you want to sigh a little bit. And if you breathe in and sigh with a little smile, you'll relax even more. Just breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Feeling all of those directions within your own being, within your own life, sort of swirling around in your being. Breathing in and breathing out. So we're going to go on a little journey. Just imagine that you're walking on a path. It can be anywhere in your consciousness that you would like to be, a memory or a place that you love to be. And we're going to visit, we're going to visit the direction of the east where our lives began and where the sun rises. And as you're walking on this path, something, you can see something coming towards you from the light of the sun. And as it gets closer, the light gets a little brighter and you see that there's a form within the light. And it's holding something. And it's reaching out to you to give you something. Just interact with that being in whatever way you feel while I play a moment. So if you need a basket to put your gift in to carry back, you can do that because we're going to three more directions. You might end up getting very full with gifts. So now, we're going to go and uh, thank 
whatever it was that came to you, for the gift, for its presence in your life, for its light. And now we're going to turn around and we're going to go back. We're actually going to go to the south. And the south, the south was the place of fertility and all of our dreams and all of our desires. It's where we are find our way in the new ways. So now we're going to walk towards the south. We're still on the path. And this time, something else comes. Be open to what it is. Sometimes we need a little faith to walk our journeys and sometimes things can be scary, but if we just know that we are taken care of, all will be well. So we've given the South our ideas and dreams, and there's a gift coming to you from the South. So it's time to take your gift and thank however it came to you, thank it for bringing you this gift. And we're going to move to the west, place of the setting sun, where we've released all our worries and burdens from today and yesterday all our joys and successes making us clear. So this is an opportunity to open to receive a gift with clarity. Is there anything yet left that needs to be released? The gift could be giving some of that away. There could be another gift for you from the West.
So take whatever you were given, whether it was a tangible or heartfelt gift, and give thanks to the West for the gift or gifts. And it's time to move towards the North where the great wisdom and great mystery live. Where we stand in faith and trust the great mystery to guide us. This is a place of light and love and cycles of wisdom. So there's a gift here as well. What does the great mystery want to give you to help you in your life today? Take your gifts, give thanks to the North for its wisdom and great mystery and the gift that you, or gifts that you received. It's time to bid adieu to the directions and give thanks for all of them for holding place for us in this world. And as we return to this world, remember your gifts. They can help guide you as you go along in your day-to-day -day world. You may see evidence of that in the coming days and weeks and months if you keep them in your heart. So let's start bringing ourselves back into awareness of this room of this place, take your time, take a couple of breaths to come back. So I'd like to offer you an opportunity to share, if should you choose, any little, a little something. We've got a few minutes to take a couple of sharings if anybody wants to share your experience, a piece of your experience. Anybody? I had a vision. The vision was that all armed, uniformed soldiers laid down their arms. And asked forgiveness from the children. Thank you. Anybody else? 
that's one we can all embrace in some way, huh? Anybody else like to share? <laughs> Amen. Um, I won't, mine was quite involved and long, but I, my mother's ashes are on Mount Lemmon in Rose Canyon Lake. And uh, when we first started, I, I saw myself kind of like walking east down a path towards the lake, and I met the cowardly lion <laughs> who gave me a very shiny coin, a heads or tail coin. And I, the message that I got from that was, it doesn't matter what decision you make. It doesn't matter. Flip the coin. Make a decision. It's your life. You can make choices. Do it. Um, then when I turned, I went into the lake and was met by a mermaid. I don't know if you know this. There are mermaids in Rose Canyon. Um, and she gave me a conch cell. And in the lake is where the ashes of my father, my brother, and my mother are. And it was a reminder of the conch shell to hear the voices of those that I have loved and lost as I continue down my path. Um, when we turned again, I was on the shore and a mallard gave me a pine cone. <laughs> and I guess pine cones are kind of a symbol of the cycle of life and trees and all of that. Um, and then when I finally turned out, I was led by sea turtles <laughs> with a rope that they were, I was holding onto the rope and they gave me the rope. And a, a rope is a multi-purpose tool that you can use for all kinds of things as you go on your journey. So for me, I definitely was getting a message of moving forward with life, so. Thank you, Robin. Wow. Anybody else? We've got enough time for one more. Yeah, don't be shy. This is, these are your people. These are your people. Okay. Well, thank you for taking a journey with me, with us as a group. Because when, when we're in a group like this and take a journey like this, the messages and the energy of them are amplified by every being in the room. So know that you've been given gifts today. Just know that you've been given gifts and feel free to call on them. Thank you. <laughs>